Hey everyone, day 12. So I already um, painted my sides of an 8x8 canvas with the Soho Payne's Gray because today we're going to do just a simple yarn pull. And this is the Payne's Gray that's mixed in for the base paint with some um, gunmetal metallic mixed in. Gives it a little shimmer, makes the painting look that much prettier. So I wanted to get the sides done because sometimes when you use a darker base coat, it's hard to get the corners to stay colored, and this will help with that. And I see clumps in there because that paint's been sitting. So I will pull those out as soon as I get her over there. So it's been um, quite an adventure doing these 12 days of Two weeks of techniques, I should say. <laughs> Not 12 days. <laughs> Is that all it's been? <laughs> but we are on day 12, and that one slid off by itself. And it's been fun. Um, there's so many more techniques than just um, two weeks worth, so we'll continue to add more techniques and extend, I'm sure. I have a lot of different things that I paint, so we will try that. We'll try adding a few more. All right, so that is the base paint. Payne's Gray mixed with Gunmetal Metallic. The ba base paint mixing video is below here. There's a link that'll take you to that video. And also as well as how we mix our paints. Now, for the paint that we drag through this, I do make it a little thicker. Um, it looks kind of like warm pudding. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it um, as thin as your pouring paint. You do want it to mound. It just helps to um, make it stick better to the yarn. And I do use regular yarn when I do um, a string pull. So I call them a yarn pull. Uh, let's see, let's start with a long one. So I just dunk it down in the paint. Try not to stir it because it will get all tangled up. And when you bring it out, just run it across your stick. I have to be careful I don't hit my microphone. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. So I'm just going to go ahead and just make some circles on the canvas. Um, you can do the zigzag pattern as well. I like the um, circles better. And I like to let that set just for a minute. Well, not a minute, you know, 30 seconds. <laughs> I, I exaggerate, don't I? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And I never use the same piece of yarn. Um, because I don't want to contaminate my white. All right, let's do another one. You could do a bunch of little canvases like this and put them on one wall. They'd be really pretty. So last night, on Monday night on our live, um... I was asked why I'm doing these two weeks of techniques. And you know, those girls have been painting a while, most of them. We have a lot of new people that aren't sure how to do things and they like to ask questions. So what better way than to show them? We don't do the same stuff over and over again on our channel. <laughs> we don't do just flip cups or just ring pours or anything that's just one technique. We mix it up. Painting's supposed to be fun. But if you're only good at flip cups and you're only good at ring pours, then, you know, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, do what you do best. I'm more creative. I like to go outside of the box. this one down and then I'll pull some little ones there to fill it up 
and then I'll turn her around and you can see her. Don't be afraid to try new techniques. You'd be surprised. You'd be like, why did I wait to try that? It was actually quite simple. And try to come up with a technique that is all you. Something different. You know, you have so many girls out there trying new things and there's so many techniques out there. But I love it when someone comes up with something new. Of course everybody will try it and hopefully they'll give you um, credit for it. I try to remember whose channel I saw it on or you know. But a lot of techniques that you do, they've already been done years ago. Um, especially the hair dryer has been used for years and you just put in a different name on it but I love seeing something new and I love when someone tries something new there that looks a little better all right so there you go how cute is that I think we need something here don't we let's do one and pull it down through and I may have to fix that petal when I do that. Unless I can swipe it off before I have to pull that far. But it's simple, simple. Simple, simple, pretty. I can run it into that one. And I can probably fix that with my skewer. There we go. There is my yarn pull. So subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share. Leave a comment. Join us on Facebook at the Barrage Posse. Check out my Facebook page, Christina Welch Art. And check out all the links below. Amazon for your paint pouring supplies. Um, Etsy for our paintings. P.O. box is down below the address and our PayPal donation link is also there. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you all on the next one. Bye now.